I'm wonderful, I'm wonderful, I'm gifted, I'm gifted, incredible, 
making affirmations on the phone. Nobody like me. Nobody like me. Nobody like me. I'm priceless. I'm priceless. Intelligent. Intelligent. Exceptional. You gotta show your love. Come on, come on, y'all. All the way from Omaha, Nebraska. Y'all need to show them some love. Come on, y'all. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, all right. Love, love, love. Man, I tell you what. I love it. I love to see young, new, fresh talent because you know what? You never know where, where they may end up. One day you may turn on at the Grammys. He may be singing at the Grammys. Come on, come on, clap, baby. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Do me a favor, look at the person next to you. Say, don't wait for people. Don't wait for people. To get there. To get there. Before you celebrate them. Before you celebrate them. Celebrate them on the way. Come on, clap celebrate your hand. Come on, on say, you gotta way. clap your hand. Come on, come on. Come on, don't wait for them to get there. You do what? Everybody say celebrate them. Celebrate them. Everybody say they say celebrate them. Celebrate them. Everybody say before they get there. Before they get there. Look at the person next to you. Tell them it's a matter of time. It's a matter of time. And tell them say I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get come there. Come on, clap your hands again. Come on, 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 come on. All right. That is you know what the thing is, I'm sure you believe right that now. part of the mentorship process, and that's what I spend my time on doing right now, is there. mentoring young people. And, uh, and in fact, this particular year, my goal is to mentor seven young people to do exactly what I'm doing. Did you notice how I gave him the microphone and I just stood back to let him do what he, come on, Clap, hey, that's how you do it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You just step back and you just let them do what they do and you just kind of guide them, direct them, and all of that is part of, and what was happening, maybe you didn't see what was going on, part of that was him being mentored. Him being mentored, come on, having someone who has done it and showing him how to do it and just let him go forth. Once again, I'm Dr. Ferris Hill, and uh, I've had the opportunity to speak to over Ferris one Hill. million this young this people across the country. Come, come on, clap your hands on that. Come on, have a one million. Wonderful day. This right here says, so how you start with the world is the opportunity to work with young people. It's not a drag, it's a delight. It's not a pain, it's a reward, it's not an interruption, it is an investment. This is me right over here in London. I'm just recently in London. Here I am over in Johannesburg, here I am in Kenya, here I am in, in Zimbabwe last year, over in Uganda, here I am over in Lagos, Nigeria, here I am in six months ago, over in the Philippines, and also I spent some time over in the orphanage, come on with young people over in Haiti, I've committed my life, come on y'all, helping young people, come on, clap in here, come on, 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 come on. Everybody say it with me, everybody say the greatest gift, the greatest gift, to the world, to the world, is our children. Our children. Everybody says, somebody believes in me. Somebody come on, clap your hands for somebody who believes in you. Come on, come on, come on. Somebody believes in you. Speaking of that, this gentleman right here, he was my mentor, the late Dr. Miles Monroe. I lost him five years ago in an airplane crash. But this man right here is, is part of the reason why I am here today. First of all, I'm here because of a good mother. Later on, you're going to see a good teacher of mine, but also a good mentor of mine. He was my mentor when I first met him. I was a simple musician playing with the Gap Band. And he looked at me, he says, I see more than a musician in you. He says, I see an international global speaker. And he asked me, he said, if you walk with me, if you travel with me, he says, well, everything I have, I'm important to you. I'm going to teach you. And you know what? You know what? That's what he did with me. He taught me, come on, come on. He taught me how to 
do public speaking around the world. In fact, I went with him to Johannesburg, South Africa, and as he began to go and speak, he asked me to get up before, before he spoke. And I did a song, and on the front row was Nelson Mandela. Come on, clap the hand. Wow. Come on, on the front row was wow. Nelson Mandela. But this man right here poured into, into my life, and uh, because of him, I am an author of several books. One of my books right here is, is a book on attitude right here. Let's read this together. One, two, three says what? Your present, present circumstances may be understandable, but a bad attitude, attitude is never acceptable. Ten percent of life is what happens. Nine percent of life is how you respond to what happens. Life is all about turning around, setbacks, and comebacks. Your attitude is everything. Do me a favor. Look at the person next to you. Say your attitude is everything. Come on, come on. Attitude is everything. Tell, tell the person next to you. Tell I'm not. Tell them, say I'm not your problem. I'm not your problem. You're not my problem. You're not my problem. Tell them, your biggest problem. Your biggest problem is your attitude. Come it's on, your attitude. Come on, fix your attitude. Right. Fix your attitude. What? Fix your attitude. Fix your attitude. When you fix your attitude, everything else will change. My next book right here. This is the book that I'm going to be speaking out of today, especially. For the 100 black men. Y'all give me a favor. Give a hand clap for the 100 black men. Come on, give a hand clap. I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. Do me a favor. Y'all give a hand clap for all the men who are here today. Give a hand clap for all these men who are here today. All the men who are here today. This next book, and the reason I talk about all the men because... When I, when I came up, I didn't have a father at home. I lost my father when I was 11 years of age, and I was missing a father until I met the late Dr. Miles Monroe. He became that father to me. And this book right here, I wrote this book, it's called Daddy Chalk. Daddy Chalk. And these are some of the chapters that's in that book right there, because I missed that voice. And that's why I wrote this book, because most of our young people, they're missing the father's voice. The father's voice is what determines your identity and your destiny. Every father should speak to your identity. That's why when you heard that song that said, prototype, I'm gifted, I'm wonderful, you want to hear that from your father. Your father should be telling you how, you better clap your hands. I ain't playing with y'all. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Your, your father speaks to your identity. Your father speaks to your destiny. That's why every young person needs a father's voice. Come on, clap your hands if you got a father's voice. Come on, a father's voice, a father's voice. And so these are some of the chapters and what I'm going to be talking about today, especially becoming a leader, I'm going to be talking about that. So everything you see today will be out of this book. We will make it available if you would like to get this book. But the last chapter of that book says, Submission to Authority. Look at the person next to you and say, if you want to go high, if you want to go high, tell the person next to you say, you got to learn, you got to learn how to submit to authority. How to submit to Come authority. Come on, clap your hands on that. Come on, if you want to go high, you have to learn how to what? Submit to what? Authority. How many young people know it's important to have respect for your parents? Come on, clap it. Y'all better clap it. I ain't playing. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. It's important that you have respect for your parents. How many believe it's important that you have respect for your teachers and your administrators? Come on, clap your hands. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. How many believe? Come on, we got this black back there. How many know it's important that you have a respect for your principals of your schools? Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. One last question. How many know it's important that you have respect for the police department? Come on. Come on, 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 come on. So, so the keys to going high in life, you have to learn how. Do me a favor. Look at the person that says you have to learn. You have to learn how to submit. How to submit. How to have respect. How to have respect for authority. For authority. I want everybody to read this together. One, two, three. Read says what? Speak well over the leadership. Don't curse the pilot if you're on the same plane because if they go down, you. You better oh, yeah. clap your hands like it's Sunday morning. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Everybody say respect. Respect. Say again, say respect. Respect. Because of our program, once again, we started this mentorship program. It's called Life Without Limits Mentorship Program. And uh, these young people, I'm so proud of them. Out of San Diego, California, I was out there for a year. The superintendent of the school asked me to come to this one particular school district. And I worked with these young people who were struggling with their academics who were just struggling in their attitude, who were struggling in their behavior, and they asked me to work with them for an entire year. I'm proud to be able to say, out of all of my accomplished accomplishments, this is one of the, I put it on the top of the, the, the top of the list. These young people, I work with them, each and every one of them, last year they graduated from high school, they are now in college. Come on, come on, come on, they went to our mentorship program. And once again, because 
because of our Take mentorship care. program, we got Be a phone well. call from this guy right here to give us a lifetime achievement award. Give a hand Later, clap y'all for the former president. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, y'all. Give it, come on, give him another hand clap. Give him another hand clap. There you go. This right here says, right here says, it says, let's read it together. One, two, three says what? Every person needs four people to help them to maximize their potential. First person you need, you need a good parent. Come on, clap your hand. If you, y'all better clap. Come on, come on. If you got a good parent, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Do me a favor. Give a hand clap for a good teacher. Come on, give a hand clap for a good teacher. Come on, y'all. Come on. And on this one right here, I want you to make some noise. If you got one good friend, come on, clap your hand for your one good friend. Come on, come on, one good friend. Do me a favor. If you got one good friend, give them a high five. Come on, come on, give them a high five. Come on, give them a high five. There you go. One good friend. And the last person you need is everybody say with me. Everybody say a mentor. A mentor. Say it again. Say a mentor. A mentor. Say it again. Say a mentor. A mentor. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give away. 